Triangle PQS and QRS are right angle triangles with angle PQS equal to angle SQR. Find QS. Many students have been failing this question and I'm going to show you how to solve it here. Now, watch. Dr bring out, the first thing you need to do is um, bring out um, your two triangles. Okay? So this is angle P. Okay, um, before I continue now, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please try and do. We're going to be releasing several videos that will help you and we want you to stay subscribed to this channel. So this is text. Now, it says angle PQS and QRSQR. Now, this is angle, angle PQS, it's, this is angle PQS and angle SQR. That means these two angles are equal. I'm going to call them angle Y and I'll call this angle Y. Okay, so this is our angle Y. And now remember that here is 90 degree. So here is 90 because of this sign. So I'm going to put 90 degree here. So this is our first triangle. Now let me draw the second triangle. I'm drawing the second triangle. Okay, so this is um, R. And this is also 90 degree R. So this is um, S and this is all this is Q. And remember this is Y. Remember the two Y's are the same. Now watch. Notice that um, from our diagram. Okay, so if sorry, if you look at our two triangles, um, now let's compare. Um, in this particular triangle. We have 90 degree here and we have 90 degree here. Now, um, here is 36, okay? I didn't label here. Arrow Q, um, sorry. Arrow Q, it's um, 24 cm, okay? Now, looking at these two triangles, if we have here to be 90 degree and this angle is Y, so we have two equal angles here, meaning this place is still going to be the same with here because this has 90 degree let's say this y is a value we don't know but let's say it's like 26 degree or let's say 37 degree so whichever way that means the angle here is going to be equal to the angle here now that means if the three angles inside the triangles are equal it means all the sides are equal that is the meaning so that means um the angle facing the 90 degree it's going to be the side facing the 90 degree will always be 36 because they are similar. Now, this is what I call a congruent triangle. Congruent triangles. Congruent triangles because they are similar. The three angles are equal. That means all their sides will be equal. So, therefore, our line QS, QS is going to be... Um, QS it's going to be 36 cm okay 36 cm so um, um, E it's the correct answer okay so that will take us to um, question um, 42 it says which of this which of the following is not a material needed for construction of angle now in constructing your angle you need a pair of compass you need your plain paper you need your protractor you need your ruler but you don't need any scale pan. You're not weighing anything. Scale pan is used for weighing devices. So um, question 43 says, um, calculate the value of Y in the figure below. Now to calculate the value of Y in the figure below. Now look at this. This is 90 degree. So, and this is a straight line. Th that will tell you that the total here is also 90 degree. So all you just do is 55 plus Y is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, Y is going to be 90 degree minus 55 degree. Now that's going to give you um, uh, 90 minus 55 is going to give you 35 degree. So our final answer is 35 degree. So because when you sum 35 plus um, 55, you're going to get back your 90 degree. Okay, so um, question um, 44, it says calculate the bearing of S from R. Calculate the bearing of S from R. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we want to calculate the bearing of S from R. So, um, remember because we have um, this line, 
being drawn on both sides it shows that they are what parallel lines so this is this and this angle is giving me 53 degree so i'm going to extend this line a bit okay and i'm going to extend this one a bit now remember your alternate angles that means this place it's what 53 degree so we want this is our um s and this is our r so we are calculating it from r so we'll do our computation from r now i will draw my north my south pole so i will now calculate this angle from here to this place so already knowing that this place alone it's 53 degree so and i'll need to also know that here is 90 and this place is 90 so to get our bearing is going to be 90 degree plus 90 degree plus um plus um, 53 degree and that's going to give me um 180 plus 53 so when you sum 180 plus 53 you're going to get 3 8 plus 5 is 13 3 carry 1 and you get 2 so it's going to be 233 degrees okay okay so d is the final answer now the next question says 45 on a scale drawing the length of a farm is 20 cm what is the actual length of the farm if the scale is 1 cm represents 50 m okay so if um, 1 cm represents 50 cm therefore 20 cm will be 20 cm times 50 cm uh, 50 sorry 1 cm represents 50 meters so it will be times 50 meters all divided by 1 cm so the cm cancels out the cm 20 times 50 it's going to give us um, 1000 meters so the correct scale of the drawing is 1000 meters okay so um question 46 says find the value of x in the figure below now when you're giving it um remember your socatoire when you're giving one side of the angle and a side so now we need to employ our socatoire again as we did in the previous question now we have our adjacent which is four and we have our hypotenuse which is six, six x so cosine this with um our adjacent and our hypotenuse so we're going to be applying cos 60 is equal to um, our adjacent which is um, 4 over our hypotenuse which is um, x so from your from your fi four figure table if you check for cos 60 it's going to give you 0 0.5 yes cos 60 is going to give you 0 0.5 which is equal to 4 over x so therefore 0 0.5 x when you cross multiply is going to give you 4 therefore x will be 4 divided by 0 0.5 okay now um one way to do this is you know that your 0 0.5 it's um half so this is equal to 4 divided by half so this is going to be 4 times 2 over 1 which is going to be 8 so the final answer is 8 cm so our correct answer is c okay going over to the next question now question 47 says what is the bearing of p from q so we're going to be doing from q so now this is our q and this is our p okay so remember here is 90 degree so so we'll start from the zero always know that you start from the north zero degree and you move towards the left so we'll start from here all down to this place now remember here is 90 degree and this place is 180 so we want to calculate from here to this place so this place is 90 this place is 90 now this place also is 90 so it's going to be 90 plus 90 plus 90 and that's going to give us um, 270 degree so that is the final answer now I think the answer is not in any of these options so the correct answer of um, the bearing of P from Q is 270 degree okay so um, question 48 says um, find the value of X in the figure below now for you to find this value of X you need to understand corresponding angles opposite angles okay and alternate angles I'm just going to do a little recap for you now
here this is x and this is y so x is equal to y the reason is corresponding angles corresponding okay now to teach you alternate angles okay so for you to have your alternate angles um this is x and uh, this is um okay this is x okay this is y okay now this is x is equal to y here and now the reason it's opposite angles okay so then the last one is the alternate angles okay so um to draw the alternate angles um for alternates you this is going to be an alternate angle okay so um Let's see here is x, then here it's y. So x is equal to y. Reason are alternate angles. Okay, establishing all this fact now, from our diagram, we can now say here, from here, this place is going to be x. Reason um opposite angles remember we said opposite angles are equal so now when you now look at this x here and this 140 you can now see that x is equal to 140 reason being that they are corresponding angles corresponding angles okay now compare it look at how the corresponding angle looks like here we have our y here we have our x now the same thing we have our x here which is 140 you look at this because these are two parallel lines so the correct answer to this is um, d this is the correct answer okay going to question 49 it says which of the following is true about the diagram now it's asking you a question on high um, Pythagoras theorem and Pythagoras theorem states that x square is equal to um, y square plus z square so I think the correct answer it's um c okay so the next question is question 50 okay um please if you've not hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get updates from us when we release this okay question says um find the value of x in the figure below okay so um we're trying to get the value of x now this is a point now remember this is like a circle so everything must sum up to what 360 so all we do is add up everything to get our 360. So this is going to be 4x minus 20 plus 2x minus 10 plus x plus 10 plus x plus x minus 10. It's going to give us a um, 360 degree. Okay, so let's add up all the like terms. 4x plus 2x is 6x. 6x plus x is 7x plus x 8x plus x is 9x okay then uh, we have minus 10 minus 20 minus 10 is minus 30 plus 10 is uh, minus 20 and minus 10 again is minus 30 so it's minus 30 equal to 360 degree okay let's do that again 4x plus 2x 6x plus x 7x plus x 8x plus x 9x minus 20 minus 10 is minus 30 Minus 30 plus 10 is uh, minus 20. Minus 20 minus 10 is minus 30. So here, yeah, uh, collecting like times 9x is going to be 360 um, plus 30. 9x is going to give us um, 390. Therefore, x is going to be 390 divided by 9. 9 into 39. We have um, we have four. That's thirty six remainder three. Nine into thirty. Nine into thirty is going to be three. Remainder three. Remainder three. So you put your dot and add your zero. Nine into thirty again is going to be three. Remainder three. So it will continue to three 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 three. So our answer is forty three point three degree. So the correct answer is E. Okay. So whenever you get a question like this, just sum it up. 
Okay, so um, please, like I said, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button now so that you can get updates and follow us in our lectures. Okay, 